Hello, this is Stuart Mackey for the Pocket Podcaster, episode 8, Titles. Today we'll be demonstrating an application called Intro Designer. There's also an Intro Designer Lite uh, free version, but this is the full version that we're going to be showing today. And this is what I've used to create the title that you've seen in previous episodes. So we're gonna, I'm using an app called Reflector to share my iPad onto my Mac screen. So you won't see my hand, but you'll see that button. So you're going to tap on Intro Designer, and you see that there's a few other apps already showing. Uh, this third one here is the uh, one I already made, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it over again from scratch. So you, so you click this plus button and you go through all the different templates. And as you can see, there's different categories, one called social that actually includes a little Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter that you can add your handle and your own text at the bottom. There's some fun family ones you can have for a baby, boy, or girl. And there's some sports ones uh, that you can have in here. There's an award ceremony one. App, the ones I like the best that are generic are the abstract category, which are pretty good, and then also the cinematic category. And you'll see that some of them appear in more than one category. So there, that one was also in the simple category, but here it is in the cinematic. This one's like a horror movie one, and this one's a good end title credit one, and that's a pretty advanced one. So the one I used in the title is this one called Flare. So if you hit play... <laughs> You can watch it and see what it looks like. So to choose it, you simply tap choose template and it opens in this editor. And here it is from the beginning and you can watch it again and see what it looks like. So you hit tap here to change titles and then there's a an arrow over here on the right that you can cycle through the different text placeholders. So you'd fill in you tap here where it is, and I have, go, type in your text. Yeah, that's the last one. You hit done. So if you want to, you can cycle through them again and hit play, and it'll kind of do a draft preview. And so what you can do then is you can also change the position of the text. So this pocket podcaster, if I thought that this lens flare was sort of messing it up, I could actually move it to be up above the lens floor. If I intentionally wanted it to be right over top of the lens flare, I could do that. I could also change the color of the text to be black instead. Maybe I thought that would be more readable. Um, you can also tap original to revert back. And also there's a reset button here in the middle of the position that you can reset the position. So and you can change the font. It, ha it does have a lot of fonts in it, and I think this is one of the few apps on iPad that lets you actually add fonts to it. There's a few uh, check boxes here. Enable music on or off. We'll turn the music on or off. Enable sound effects is like there's a swish or an explosion. Turn that on and off. And then custom music allows you to load music in. Now I'm going to leave the music and sound effects on because one of the things you can do is when you import this movie into iMovie, you can turn the sound off. So it almost doesn't matter unless, for instance, you want to say use the effects and not the music, then you might want to turn off the music and save it with the sound effects because then it'll, in, when you edit it, you can mix it together. So we have this video all set the way we like it and we tap export up here in the upper right hand corner and uh, you can choose what resolution. You can select 640 by 360, which is pretty low, low to medium res. 960 by 540 is a little bit better than standard definition, and 720 by 1280 is HD. So it doesn't let you do 1080, and I'm sure that's because they probably didn't have enough room or processing power, they thought, to do it in 1080. And this is a third-gen iPad, so uh, it will take a little bit longer to render than it would, say, on a fourth-gen or a MacBook. Uh, an iPad Air, which have a little bit faster processors. And what's funny is, again, here there are places to turn the music on and off and the sound effects on and off, and you can do save to camera roll, or you can share it directly to Facebook. Now, in my opinion, I wouldn't want to share this directly to social because it really, doesn't really stand on its own, in my opinion. Unless you were making a movie trailer for something else, you could do a completely self-contained movie trailer 
in here and then put your website in this last text placeholder. So there's quite a few options. So you tap export and it will render. And when it's done rendering, the little render dialog box will go away and you'll see that it's on the camera roll. So if I just go back to my home screen, tap photos, and I go to camera roll, there's the video right here, the very last video, and I can play it. And there you have it. So you can do that and import it into your editing software and to complete your video. That is how you do a title. As you can see in that template tool, there was a lot in the title designer. There's a lot of different templates you can choose from. And so I invite you to, invite, to play with them and try them around and maybe uh, export them out and use the different do use different music, for instance, if you want to from your music role. Now, of course, I would strongly encourage you to be careful of any copyright infringements when you do your own music, but if you use the music that's built in, you're okay. This is Stuart Mackey for The Pocket Podcaster, Episode 8. Please leave us a review on iTunes or comments on the website at pocketpodcaster.com forward slash 8 for Episode 8. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>